Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today is part two of the Understanding Algadoo tutorial. Now, in these three videos, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of Algadoo, how you can understand the files, tools, and how you can uh, import objects from other scenes so you can create your very own marble race like I do for my channel. Now, the first part, I originally said this is only going to be two parts, but since that took a bit more time than I expected explaining the different files and tools, I decided to make this three parts. So last time, we understood that, or we learned, that all these files are places where you can save your scenes, share them with others, and use the elements that you have in your own file. And then we learned the different tools which we can create objects with, like the brush tool, or um, to make a box or a circle. And then we also have these yellow tools which allow us to um, edit objects, like the knife tool, the um, follow tool, which actually really only works if things are in motion. So here we go. I click this and it automatically follows wherever I click. We also learned that in order to make our races, we have to right click, go to geometry actions, and glue to the background. That means that things will be in place rather than just falling. So that's some of the stuff we did in part one. But in this part, we're going to be learning how we can actually begin the process of making a marble race. Now, like I showed you the first time, this is one of the first complete courses I made, and I named it Algadoo Fun Race Part 1, mainly because this is the one I originally did for fun. And the first step in building a marble race is getting an idea for what your course is going to look like. And that's just what's going to be your preference. What kind of race do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a one-on-one -on -one down specific tracks where you can test the marble speed? Do you want it to make a free-for-all course with a lot of different competitors? Do you want it to make it a tournament style or uh, a case where a whole bunch run and the bottom so many are eliminated? That's up to you. That's your style. That's your preference. And that's what you can build anything you want. That's the benefit of Algadoo. It's your imagination and um, basically your imagination and your mind is the only limit here. You can build anything you want. Now, um, to actually build it, first you have an idea, but then you need to understand what components you will need to actually make your race. So obviously the first thing you need are marbles. And I have some here, um, all different colors, which I imported from another scene, which is what I'm going to teach you to do today. But if you are not going to try and import from another scene, you can just use the circle tool to create marbles of a specific size, whatever size you want. So I can make them a little bit bigger, I can make them a little bit smaller. This time you don't want to glue them to the background because obviously they will stay there and you won't have any race. So once I create one, instead of continuing to create more, I right click and hit clone. That means that the object is the exact same size. And then I just right click, go down to appearance, and turn it into a different color. That allows me to add some variety to my races and to, con and to still have accuracy. All the marbles are the exact same size. So as you can see, there's a lot of different um, colors here. You can adjust the slider for how transparent, how dark, how light they are, or just go with a set color on this grid. Either way, that's how you create marbles on your own. Um, so let's see here. Then there's other elements after the marbles. Um, some in this race, some of the most important elements when making marble races are the element of the start, which is usually a very large bowl, which allows the marbles to get mixed around, and usually throughout the race allows them to change order. Then there's usually smaller bowls, um, always ramps going downhill for the marble to go. Sometimes there's chutes and launchers, usually spinners that cause the marbles to either speed up or um, provide an obstacle trying to push them back. Sometimes there's alternators which allow the marble to go in the one direction and automatically sets for the next marble to go in another direction. There's anti-gravity and gravity pads, white and red. 
Um, like I said, with the gear tool, you can make gears and then add an axle so they move as the marbles go down them. And teleporters also. But those are the things that you're most likely going to import from another scene. So you can look at this and you can say, okay, well, that's great. I know what I need for my marble race, but all this stuff, how am I going to make it myself? Well, you don't have to. That's the beauty of the fact that other people have experienced these races. Uh, they have made things very similar, and they have made things completely different, and they found out a lot of interesting things about the game. And that is the glory of Algabox. I introduced this to you last time, and it's, this is where all the um, other users of the game have shared their scenes. You can search by the name of the user or based on the title of the scene. Now, I'm going to pause the recording just for a sec until this loads, because it usually takes a long time. Okay, so now this is loaded, and like I said, you can search by the title of the um, scene or by the name of the user. And you go up to here where it says Search Scenes, and in order to get those things that you need to make the marble races, you simply type in Marble Race Packs. And these are sets of items that have been collected by other users, uh, specifically to set together so that you can import them to your channel so you can make a marble race. So this is, um, when you get the right pack, it might have everything you need. You might need to search multiple packs to find out more, to see other options, because some have the same objects, only a slightly bit different. So you can experiment a little bit, see what works best for you. And I'm going to pause the recording again because this seems to be taking a while. All right, so this is loaded. As you can see, there's a lot of scenes here made by other marble uh, racers, a lot of other users of Algadoo. Some of the people I know on YouTube are also on here, or were on here. But I'm going to scroll down to see a little bit, do we have any good marble race packs that I can see for this video? Hmm. Doesn't look like any good ones on this first scene. Which is kind of unusual, given the fact that I typed in specifically marble race packs. Um, okay, so this is loaded again, and I'm still not really seeing any, um, real marble race packs. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back up to here, to my search box, and I'm going to edit what I'm searching for, and I'm no longer going to be searching for marble race packs. I'm going to type in a name of user. Um, I'm going to go marble raced, and he doesn't really um, use this part anymore, but um, we know him better on YouTube where he is most as John Dubuck. And even though he's not on here as much anymore, if I search, I usually can find a marble race pack from someone else, someone close to him. See, this is where he said goodbye. But here is where I want. This looks like a good marble pack. So this loads up on a scene. All you have to do is hit play. And once this loads, we will see a lot of marbles, a lot of objects that we can use. And um, really, he helped me out a lot here. He said, drag all items into the icon with the red car. Pull the whole thing in by highlighting it. Remember, some parts are invisible, so be careful. Marble size, 0.4 of a meter. And really, that explains all I want to know, because the fact that all you have to do to import something to your channel is highlight it and drag it to the icon with the red car. That means it's part of your components now, and you can use it in your race. So let's see here. Let's see what we want. There's a lot of different things here. Some simple, more some more complex. First off, oops, no, 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 no. I don't want my polygon tool. I forgot. Go back to the highlight tool. First off, a bowl is a good place to start for any race. I'm going to drag it to my file. And as you can see, now that I drag it to my red car, it appears in my components section along with everything else I've used. Um, a star spinner is a, also a very good thing to have. has a built-in motor, and we can edit the speed. 
Um, let's see here. What other things might we want? A marble chute in order to make races. Um, let's see. Anti-gravity pads and gravity pads and porting them together. All of these things are things that we will use to make our races. And you can look around here. We have a wall. We have an angled spinner. We have the Plinko or dot section. I'll drag that to my folder. I can use that to mix up the order. I'm not going to import the gears. Those are something we can make on our own. We have spinners here. Here's a chute. This is a chute I think I already have, but here to show you. Everything that I've been dragging is appearing right here. Um, I can also import some of these spinners to change the order of the marbles in the race. Depending on the type of race you want to use, you might be seeing this eliminator. The marbles will stack up and the ones that are in the last positions will roll along the top, fall into this area, push the red block, and allow the others to continue while the marble themselves are eliminated. I'm not going to import that. There's some things here, conveyor belts, this, which is one of my rainbow bridges. You start out as black, but as marbles touch them, they turn certain colors. There's the marble ladder. The marbles will have to stay on the rungs, going all the way up. And here is something I'm going to import, because in part three, I'm going to be making an actual race. And you can see some of the things I'll have, and I'm going to be using these marbles based on the size they are matching everything else I've just imported in this video. So as you can see, when you find these good marble packs that have a wide range of objects made by whatever user you can find, like I said, you can do some experimenting, they will have a lot of the things you need. Marbles, a lot of different colors, a lot of different elements commonly used in the races, and the information you will need to understand each of these elements. So as you can see here, there's quite a wide range. And if I go back to the globe on it, I'd like to thank um, Sarcoptes on Algabox, on Algadu, for this scene. Because a lot of the things I have used in my marble races have come from here. So thank you to him. And <laughs> I don't really know if he's watching this, but I figure he should get some recognition from this video for taking the time to put this entire thing together. Um, anyway, that's how you get, um, that's how you import objects into your folder. Those are your components, and you can now use them to make a race your own. So I'm going to go and click New Scene. I'm going to go to Default, and what I'm going to do is click on my red car folder. Now all I have to do is click on every item and they will appear in my scene. So there's the marbles I use, there's the bowl, there is the um, tube that we just imported. Everything that we import goes directly to here, which we can directly send into each and every race we make. So that's it for part two. That's how you can search Algabox and that's how you can import items to your channel or your Algodoo. Yeah, I think it's called a channel. So that you can start the process of making a marble race. Now, we've had this big buildup. We've learned how to make things using the tools so we can make things ourselves. We've learned how to find objects from what other people have learned to make our job easier and have these components that we will need in building a course. But in part three, we're actually going to be building a course. And we're going to be using these marbles, maybe not all of them, in that final video. So, take a look at these colors. See if you're psychic. Pick, pick which one you think will win in the next race. I will pick... My favorite color is like a reddish orange, so I'll pick this one. Pick whatever color you want, and part three will be coming out tomorrow, where we'll actually be building the course. So, if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. And, as always, thanks for watching.